Welcome back to The Real Story. The Pentagon acknowledging now a close call between an American surveillance plane and a Russian fighter jet. So this happened six weeks ago above international waters north of Japan, with the aircraft passing within just 100 feet of each other. The Russian jet also apparently taunted the American plane, turning over to reveal that it was armed with air-to-air -air missiles, according to a Pentagon official. Well, the incident, of course, occurring amid heightened tensions between Moscow and Washington over the crisis in Ukraine. A U.S. official tells me that this is the most dangerous close passes in decades, one of the most between U.S. and Russian warplanes. This took place on April 23rd in international waters off the eastern coast of Russia. A U.S. Air Force RC-135U surveillance aircraft on a routine mission intercepted by a single Russian Su-27 flanker aircraft. That Su-27 crossed the nose of the U.S. aircraft within just 100 feet, making a maneuver, I'm told, straight out of a movie, so close that the American jet was caught in the jet wash of the Russian fighter. The flyby, I'm told, put the lives of the U.S. crew in jeopardy, at which point the crew aborted its mission. The U.S. then raised the case at the highest levels with General Dempsey, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, discussing it with his counterpart, the Russian chief of defense. Since then, Wolf, I'm told that an incident like this has not happened again. Was this directly, this incident, directly related to the crisis in Ukraine? Has there been an uptick in these kinds of close encounters between U.S. and Russian military aircraft? Well, they've certainly been keeping their eyes open for this. This took place at the height of the crisis, uh, just after Russian troops annexed Ukraine and with tens of thousands of Russian forces massed on the border with Ukraine. And came a little more than a week after another Russian jet buzzed the destroyer, the USS Donald Cook, in the Black Sea off Crimea. That jet came within 1,000 yards of the ship. I'm told that there is no clear pattern of increased flybys since the start of the Ukraine crisis. However, the Pentagon has noticed an uptick over the last two years, particularly along the Alaskan coast. That is where this took place, though those have been, in general, professional in nature. This most recent flyby, a much more significant event. I mean, these kinds of things happen. They're, they're part of the game of cat and mouse, as you have U.S. surveillance warplanes uh, traveling around China, around Russia. Uh, but they tend to be under a set of rules. You only come so close, you come with warning. Uh, this one came very much outside of the bounds of that, uh, put the crew's lives in danger, and that's why they raised this at the and highest level. These levels kinds of things Russia. occurred all the time during the Cold War, but we assumed it was over that Cold War, and this, this is certainly a remnant of that. Absolutely, the, the most serious in decades. We're talking in the last 30, some odd 40 yeah. years. The close pass, one of the worst in decades, a U.S. official tells CNN, took place April 23rd in international waters off Russia's eastern coast. A U.S. Air Force RC-135U surveillance aircraft on a routine mission was intercepted by a single Russian Su-27 flanker jet. The Su-27 crossed the nose of the U.S. aircraft within approximately 100 feet, showing its belly to reveal it was armed with missiles. A maneuver straight out of a movie, said the official, so close that the U.S. jet was caught in the jet wash of the Russian fighter. The U.S. official said the flyby put the lives of the U.S. crew in jeopardy, at which point the crew aborted its mission. The incident came just nine days after another Russian jet buzzed the destroyer, the USS Donald Cook, in the Black Sea. That jet came within a thousand yards of the ship, just 500 feet above the sea. The U.S. raised the near miss at the highest levels. Chairman of the Joint Chiefs, General Martin Dempsey, communicating with his counterpart, the Russian Chief of Defense. Since then, CNN is told such close passes have not happened again. Today, President Obama met with the new Ukrainian president-elect, Petro Poroshenko, both pledging to find a peaceful end to the conflict with Russia. For now, Ukraine is still locked in a bloody battle with pro-Russian separatists. This YouTube video capturing a fire explosion at a militant base, leaving several fighters and civilians dead. Authorities in Kiev blamed an explosion at a militant weapons cache. But CNN reporters on the scene found evidence of an attack by government military jets.